What's going on everyone? This is Chase, Rocky Mountain 8 VMC, and this is our 2022 Full Coverage Roost Deflector Buyer's Guide. All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking in. If you are shopping for a roost deflector, we are here to help you out. We've actually got three different guides when it comes to upper body protection. We have a low profile roost deflector guide, which is for people that want minimalistic underneath the jersey. We have today's full coverage, which is gonna be more coverage, more protection than low profile. And we also have a protection jacket buyer's guide as well. So no matter what type of coverage you're looking for, we have a buyer's guide to help you out. Today, what we're focusing on are roost deflectors that are gonna be pretty much worn over top the jersey. They're gonna offer front and back and at least some shoulder protection. And some of the items that you're gonna see are also gonna have some rib protection as well. So you gotta kinda of ask yourself, how much protection and coverage are you looking for? Keep in mind, we got Jake today who is helping us. Jake's about six feet tall, 190 pounds, a little over 40 inch chest. We'll tell you what size he's wearing in all the pieces that we're showing you today. But we do have a fit guarantee. No matter which one of these you get, if you don't like how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition. And we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange to make sure you get the size and the fit that you are happy with. That being said, let's talk about the first one that we have. We have the Liat 3.5 Pro. So price on this, you're right around 150 bucks. Now sizing on the 3.5 Pro, it's actually just one size, they call it adult. So that's why you need to use Jake as your sizing reference. But with this, there's a lot of adjustability with the side straps, you've got shoulder adjustments here in the front as well as the back. And with the 3.5 Pro, this one is kind of bridging the gap here because of all the ones that we're gonna show you today, this one, in my opinion, could be worn underneath the jersey. You do have the shoulder protection though, which could appear a little bit bulky underneath the jersey, but You've got this hard plastic shield in the front with their 3DF foam that is underneath. It's very comfortable. I like the fit of this one. It fits the shape of the body well. You have inserts on the front and the back that are removable. So you can incorporate this with the Liat neck braces. And with the back and the front, you are CE certified impact level one. So you've got impact protection there. And then with these shoulder protectors here, these are hard plastic with that foam underneath. These are not CE certified, but being with the hard plastic and that foam, they're still gonna offer some pretty good impact protection and they are removable if you do wanna take those off. So if you're looking for a good roost deflector that is still low enough that you could wear underneath a jersey, but you do want some shoulder protection, then the 3.5 Pro would be a good option. All right, so the second option that we have up here, this is the Alpine Stars A6. And the A6 is pretty new from Alpine Stars. And I will say, in my opinion, at 180 bucks, you go up about $30. But this one, of all the ones I'm gonna show you today, I kind of feel like is the best value, and I'll explain why. So with the A6, you've got the grid technology from Alpine Stars. You've got that in the front and the back offers a lot of coverage, but you are CE level two impact certified for the chest as well as the back. So you bump up and see certification from that 3.5 Pro and the shoulder armor on here is also CE certified for impact. You didn't see that on that 3.5 Pro. Also, this armor is removable. I really like the V-strap on these shoulder protectors. I think it does a great job of keeping these nice and snug against the arm, a really good fit. And I like how far down these shoulder protectors come. But like I said, if you don't like these, you could take those off. But lots of good coverage in the front and the back. There is a puck on the back protector that is removable. So if you want to wear the Alpine Stars Bionic neck support or their neck brace, you can remove that. You've got their pull tabs right here to keep that in place. The only thing, and this is all something to keep in mind with Alpine Stars, they have their A1 Plus, you've got the A6, the A4, the A6, now the A10. The higher you go up in the number, the more coverage you're going to get. And really, with the A6 from here, the only thing you're really sacrificing is you're not gonna get hard plastic around the rib cage flank area. You would jump up to the A10 if that's what you want. But overall, with how much coverage you're getting with the A6, there's a really good value here. All right, so following up the A6 from Alpine Stars, we now have the A10. So the A10, you bump up about 80 bucks in price. And like I mentioned earlier, with these, the higher the number, the more coverage, more protection that you're getting. Now, the A10, Here's a couple of the unique differences that you need to know because coverage wise, front and back and with the shoulders, you're pretty close to about the same. You're CE level two for the front and back, but now you're also CE level two for the shoulders. So even more impact protection there. The shoulder pads are removable like the A6, but here's what you need to know. With the A10, you've got hard plastic now over top foam that wraps around the flank in the rib cage area. So more protection there than with the A6. And here's something to note. 
With the A10, even though it's CE level two, because again, the A6 was, but you've got their grid foam technology underneath here, like the A6, but now you have a hard plastic shield over the top. So although they have the same CE certification, Alpine Stars is saying that with this plastic shield over top, you're gonna get even more impact absorption than you would with the A6. So those are a couple things that you would wanna keep in mind. But there is on the back, there is a removable insert that easily comes out. So if you wanna wear the Alpine Stars neck braids, that will give you better fitment. But overall, like I said, if you're looking for the most protected piece from Alpine Stars before you jump into a protection jacket, then the A10 is the route for you. All right, so next up we have the Fox Racing Airframe Pro. So Jake's wearing a size large, extra large. You jump up about $10 in price from that Alpine Stars A10. And here's a couple of things I like about the Airframe Pro. You get a ton of coverage with this, but of all the ones that we have shown you today, when you look at the Airframe Pro and you see how much coverage wraps around the rib cage area, I feel like this one has the most protection in that area. So if you are big on protection over top of the ribs, the Airframe Pro does it really well. Your CE certified level one and the chest, your level two in the back and your level one with the shoulder pads, which are removable as well. The only drawback with the Airframe Pro is that compared to some of the others that we're showing you today, this one, feels probably the most rigid when you put it on and it does feel a little bit heavier, but as far as coverage goes and with how much protection that you're getting around the ribcage area, it's hard to beat that. All right, so last but not least, we have the Liat 6.5 Pro. From the 6.5 Pro, if you want more coverage than what this is going to give you, you're gonna to wanna to step up to basically just a full protection jacket, which like I said earlier, we do have a buyer's guide for those as well. But 6.5 Pro price point, you're up there. You're about $290. But like I said, this is giving you the most that LIAC can offer. You've got CE certification level two in the front as well as the back. You've got a ton of coverage. Like that 3.5 Pro, you've got these plates here in the front as well as the back that are removable. If you are going to be wearing the neck brace, you've got their tabs up here on the top to keep the neck brace in place. But here's what you're getting with the 6.5 Pro. You now have CE rated armor on the shoulders, which is removable, so you could take that off if you want to. And also with this piece, you'll notice like some of the others that we've seen, you've got hard plastic now that is wrapping around that flank area to offer protection for the ribs. So like I said, if you're looking for just the most protective piece that Liat makes before you step up to a protection jacket, the 6.5 Pro would be the best option for you. And that does it. That is our buyer's guide for full coverage roost deflectors for 2022. So hopefully this video has kind of pointed you in a good direction and you have an idea of maybe one or a couple of these that would be a good option for you. Remember to watch the product spotlights if you want to see more about these, learn all the details, give those a watch. And as always, if you have questions, we will get those answered. So leave those in the comment section below. You can also, if you have other questions, you can ask those on the product pages and you will get answers from customers who have bought and are using these pieces that we showed you today. We ship for free over 75 bucks and if you like this buyer's guide, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell and that way you always stay up to date. I'm Chase and we'll see you on the trails.